In this video, I'm going to be painting Taehyung from his music video, Singularity. Please ignore my red stained hot cheeto fingers. I tried washing them, it didn't come off. Anyways, beside the point. Um, this video is a mess. There is a lot of missing footage because I kept getting frustrated and turned off the camera and just messed with whatever was frustrating me until I figured it out, which I did, but it didn't turn out the way I wanted it. I mean, I'm happy with the painting, but there's still a lot that I gotta learn. I started this painting with the background. The reference photo that I was using is a screenshot from the MV, and in the back I can see uh, news articles, but I can't really see them well, so I didn't try to copy that completely. I just kind of painted a few squares, tried to blend them in and have them all look co cohesive, and then added little lines later for words. I noticed that if I try to copy it completely, like the photo, it doesn't turn out the way I want it to and it just makes me frustrated. So for this part, I had to put the picture away and just kind of work with what I had and figure it out. And I ended up really liking how it looked. The black lines also is just black paint with a little bit of water to make it runny and then me scribbling across the pages that are in the back. Here I'm in the middle of painting the rose bush. I did film the whole process, but I ended up cutting it out completely because it was just so dark that you couldn't see what I was painting and the video was getting pretty long. Basically I picked out a dark green and laid down some leaves and then used a little bit of white to add some highlight and I did this while the paint was still wet so it can blend really nicely and just transition between the white and the really dark green. I noticed when I finished painting that the rose bush isn't in the background, it's kind of in the middle ground, kind of behind Taehyung's leg, and I didn't like that because I know in the picture it's pretty far back, but I didn't want to risk painting over it and not being able to paint it again, so I just left it as it is. Here I'm laying down some paint to pinpoint where I want the flowers to be. This helps me so I don't have to worry about painting them later because I tend to lose track of what I'm doing sometimes. This is also one of those steps where I didn't really have like steps for. I just kind of went in and painted where I thought things were. Because if you look at the reference photo or the picture that is similar to this one from the MV, the flowers are blurry because they're very close to the camera where the shot was taken from. So I tried to do that, it didn't work out, so I just ended up painting flowers. Which, by the way, I'm not very good at. So I think they turned out okay. For my first time, that is. There's also missing footage here because, like I said, I don't know how to paint flowers. So I had to turn off the camera and just figure it out. And also I feel like the camera makes me nervous and it makes me feel that I have to hurry up. So I don't have a lot of footage to edit. Does not help, I still had a lot of footage to edit. Painting clothes is one of my favorite things to paint other than hair, so I don't really have much to say about this, except for that it was really fun. I, I don't know, I can't really explain the process, I just kind of transition between my shades of color and look at the reference photo, I try to follow the reference photo as much as I can. So yeah, speaking of reference photos, this one was really hard to work with because it was very dark and I didn't want my painting to very, be very dark. So a lot of the parts that I painted that I couldn't see, I had to leave up to my imagination. But that makes for good practice, so I guess that was a plus. I definitely learned a lot about painting clothes with this painting. And also there's a chunk of footage missing in one of his shoulders. My camera loves to turn off without telling me. So it stopped recording and I kept going and I didn't notice until I heard the little like shutter thing happen. So yeah. And then my camera um, battery also dies a lot. I'm in the process of getting another one, but I can't take out my battery and let it charge and wait to paint. I have to finish it because if my paint dries, I won't be able to blend as well. And then I don't think I'd be able to get the color combinations that I got before. So it was one of those struggles that I had to kind of deal with. It's a good thing this isn't a tutorial because I would have already failed.
If you watched any of my other acrylic painting videos, you may have noticed that I don't paint faces. I always paint them from behind because your girl don't know how to paint skin. So this was a mission and a long journey. And I worked with it and tried to figure it out and I couldn't. So I had to turn off the camera and just practice until I finally got it. And even then, I don't think I really got it. I think it still looks kind of weird. And uh, it wasn't until my sister pointed out that his nose looked like it was too high up. So I had to repaint his nose, which hurt my soul because I liked how his nose looked. But I do admit, I think it looks a little bit better. Obviously, not the same, but it does look like it's in the right position and not too high up. For my first time painting a face with acrylics, I think it turned out okay. I still have to practice because it's not how I would have wanted it to look, but I'm content with it. In the reference photo, he has a branch under his chin and running across his face, and I was going to add it because I wanted to keep it as close to the photo as I could, the original photo, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. I just, I couldn't do it. And then my brother's fiance told me not to do it, and my sister told me, basically everyone who was watching me paint this at home told me not to add the branch. So I painted over the brown branch on his shoulder and just did a smaller one. So the branch is still there, it's just not on his face. And now for my favorite part, the hair. Usually when I do anything with hair, I like to work in streaking motions and like in, with pencil or markers, but with acrylic paint, it's a little bit different. I kind of think in sections of three, the very bottom, the middle part, which will be the highlight, and then the very top, which will be dark. And I add, I transition between my colors so that it'll blend a lot nicer, but I don't try to draw every strand like I normally would. For the earring, I used yellow, brown, and white because earrings or gold is not just gold, it's got some shadows in there. I have gold paint, but it would have looked very flat if I would have tried to do that. Here is the final look. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! Usually when I'm painting things like this, I like to... Did you just open up a soda as I'm recording? I'm sorry, I forgot. Rude. <laughs>